beloved, since all people are born in sin, our Savior Jesus Christ said, except a person be born of water and the Spirit, they cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Let us call upon God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ, that of his goodness and mercy he will receive this child by baptism and make her a living member of his holy church. I ask at this time to present this child for the sacrament of holy baptism. Those that do, please respond by saying, I do. Since in Christian love you present this child holy baptism. The church charges you that you diligently and faithfully bring her, teach her the Ten Commandments, the Creed, and the Lord's Prayer. And that as she grows in years, she should place in her hands the Holy Scriptures, bring her to the services of God's house, and provide for her instruction in the Christian faith, that living in the covenant of her baptism and in communion with the church, she may lead a godly life until the day of Jesus. We therefore call on you to answer in the service place. You promise to fulfill these promises made to God. If so, respond by saying, I do. <coughs> I ask the congregation to please rise. I ask all here to profess your faith in Jesus Christ, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church, the faith in which we baptize. Do you renounce all the forces of evil, the devil, and all his empty promises? If so, respond by saying, I do. I do. Do, do you believe in God the Father? I, do. I believe in God, God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. And with those promises made, started this a long time ago. That's all right, that's long. And have continued. In fact, I've had several baptisms in Texas already. And when I visited with the, the worship committee and told them about this, they immediately, yes, we need to do that. So I present you with stoles. Now, stoles have always been considered a symbol of the office of pastor. And the purpose of the stall is to remind the pastor that he or she is yoked to God by their promises. You people just made promises. And by the way, you're not off the hook. You made promises, not to them, not to me. You made promises to God that you would see to it that Sarah grows in faith. That's all of you. That means if they're not here, you have a lot of responsibility. That means if they don't do their job, you have a lot of responsibility to make sure that they do. Because we want you to have all the promises that come with that day. So please bring your own response. All of them. There you go. Sir Rose, I baptize you in the name of the Father.
God, the giver of all life, look with kindness upon the father and mother of this child. Let them ever rejoice in the gift you have given them. Make them teachers and examples of righteousness for their children. Strengthen them in their own baptism so they may share eternally with their children the salvation you have given them through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Through baptism, God has made Sarah a member of the ministry we all share in Christ Jesus. Together we will proclaim the praise of God and bear his word of salvation to all the world. We welcome you into the Lord's family. We receive you as a fellow member of the body of Christ, child of the same heavenly father, and partner with us in the kingdom of God. to the body of Christ, to this congregation. <laughs> 